What the heck is butyrate and why it may be life changing? Let's go there now. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Ask Dr. Patel Show, where we help people find answers who have chronic health conditions, chronic health problems. And today we want to talk about butyrate, also called butyric acid. What the heck is butyrate and why is it important to me? So uh, let's let's dive right into this. I think it's um, very important to know. All right, let's in fact clear that out of the way. Okay, so butyrate. And, and I wrote up there, you know, a little known but powerful nutrient because a lot of people have never heard of butyrate. Nobody's ever talked about it, you know, but it's nothing, it's not something new. Um, it's actually something that our bodies can even make, which I want to get into more. In fact, it's actually produced by the good gut bacteria, the friendly bacteria that live in our gut. Uh, they actually, whenever we eat, fruits, veggies, complex carbohydrates, they use some of that to actually manufacture these short chain fatty acids, which one of those is called butyrate. There's another one called acetate, another one called propionate. Now this butyrate is pretty important because it has some pretty amazing effects on, let's talk about it in a minute, some inflammation, certain conditions. Uh, it can have very dramatic effects. So um, the, here's where the problem comes in is let's say you have a chronic health issue. Let's say you have an autoimmune condition. Let's say you have an inflammatory bowel disease. You have a, a gut issue, some problem with your intestines. You know, you notice that your bowels aren't good. You're not digesting. You're reacting to food. You're getting reflux or heartburn. You're getting gases, bourbon, you're getting all these digestive symptoms. Well, are your bacteria going to be turning those foods, fruit, veggies, complex carbohydrates into butyrate? Probably not. Probably your butyrate levels are going to be pretty low if you have any gut issue. So the thing is, is we've got to figure out, hey, uh, how do we get your butyrate levels up? How do we start to get these bacteria uh, back to normal because you need these good bacteria. They not only have a humongous influence on your immune system, but also on your nervous system and on your um, just your ability to absorb and get energy through the day. Actually, your gut bacteria have in, now we know they have influences on so many things in our body. In fact, when we make this butyrate, it's the primary fuel. It's the energy source for the cells of our gut. So pretty important that we've got this stuff in our system and plenty of it. So let's uh, move forward here. So this butyrate, very interesting stuff. It can be anti-inflammatory, antioxidative, and oxidation, basically it, things externally in our environment or internally can cause oxidation in our system. Um, and inflammation, you know, things that go into our gut through our foods. We, if through foods, we get metals, we get herbicides and pesticides, different chemicals, food additives. It's amazing what goes through our gut really on a daily basis. But can our gut handle these things? And so we do need something to help keep the fire down, something to help promote antioxidation, which prevents cells from dying off and aging faster and our whole body aging faster than it should. And then also butyrate can help be antimicrobial, meaning it can kill some of the bad guys or help fuel the killing of the bad guys uh, in your gut. How does it do this? Well, actually butyrate affects what are called your T regulatory cells. So these are very important immune system cells. T regulatory cells um, basically are like the conductors of the orchestra of the immune system to a big degree. They kind of prevent one side of the immune system from overdoing it, like from the SWAT team side of your immune system, the Th1 side from attacking too much or the anti-inflammatory side, the Th2 side from over-responding. And, you know, it keeps that balance going, which we need to occur 
And this has a dramatic effect on our gut associated lymphoid tissue. And you don't have to remember that, but that's the immune system in your gut. And just remember the immune system in your gut is around 75, maybe more percent of your entire immune system in your body. So pretty darn important. Now, some simple things that kind of help those T regulatory cells, not only butyrate, but some things we've talked about in the past, vitamin D levels, very, very, very important. Glutathione and not fish oil because it has mercury, algae oil. So all these things. And in fact, here's a big one here that a lot of people don't pay attention to is resveratrol. All these things can have big effects on your immune system in your gut and butyrate also helps with this in a big way too. But again, if you've got a fire in your gut, if you if your gut is inflamed, not only you're not absorbing things well that you eat, but also if your gut's inflamed, you're not making your own butyrate. And so you lose all the impacts. You lose the ability to maintain the good bacteria in the gut. So then the question comes in, but Dr. Pakel, I can just take a bunch of probiotics. Maybe I could even increase my fiber. No, if you have an inflamed gut, you take probiotics. It's like throwing these little guys into the fire. They're just going to burn up. They may live for a short period, but then they're just going to end up in the toilet. Uh, you're trying to you're trying to paint and carpet the house while the house is on fire. It's not going to work. And the thing about the fiber is if you have an inflammatory bowel disease, you may be having a lot of soft stools, diarrhea. The fiber may make that worse sometimes. So definitely uh, you've got to be cautious with what you take and when you take it. But the main thing is we've got to get these butyrate levels up so these good bacteria can actually thrive more and then eventually and get the fire out so they eventually can do this job on their own. So now also it's been shown that butyrate helps to close the tight junctions. And in our gut, there's these little gaps where food absorbs. And um, again, it's also a part of the immune system. And what we've seen with dysbiosis, when you get bad bacteria from your colon into your small intestine or bad bacteria in your gut because of overgrowth of these bad bacteria because you're out of all your good bacteria. Yeah. And not only bacteria, but you can start to get yeast and fungus like candida. You can start to get parasitic issues. And all of this results in what's called dysbiosis, meaning that, yeah, the populations of what's in there is not what's supposed to be in there. It's dysregulated. And then this causes what's called leaky gut. These junctions open and they start to leak. Things start to leak through that shouldn't, which causes increased inflammation because your immune system starts to react to foods and everything else now. So butyrate helps to close those tight junctions, which means in the big picture, it helps to reduce this inflammatory effect. And that's actually... Um, well, in fact, we're going to get to this. We'll stay on this page, but here's what it, there's a research study that they did and they weren't even just looking at the gut. They were looking at global inflammation and what they found that in, when they did the experiment on people, not only on people, but they looked at some past experience experiments that were even done on some animals, but they found that, Hey, taking butyrate can really bring down the inflammation, not only in the gut, but throughout the entire body. So pretty important stuff. So if you have an inflammatory bowel disease, if you have Crohn's disease, if you have ulcerative colitis, if you have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which is SIBO, if you have irritable bowel syndrome, if you have any of these gut issues, which are under that topic of inflammatory bowel disease, yeah, butyrate should be on your to-do list. Again, before you take anything, you should always uh, check with your um, uh, prescribing doctor, but definitely butyrate um, uh, should be very top of the list there. All right. So let's see if I can get my cursor back. So definitely think butyrate when it comes to inflammation, when it comes to uh, especially gut conditions. I hope everybody got some great information out of this. And um, I'll also see uh, if we can maybe find a link to a, a good uh, butyric acid or butyrate supplement and put that below. But all right, well, everybody have a wonderful day and God bless. Excuse me.